Hey folks, welcome back to Skyward Sword. We are here in the sky, and we are just about to begin our hunt for the pieces of the Song of the Hero. Uh, now I put up a poll on my Facebook page to decide the order uh, in which we would chase the parts of the song, and Pharaon won by a very wide margin. So, our first stop will be the Pharaon Province. Unfortunately, there's an issue. Uh, most of Pharaon is, for some reason, completely inaccessible. So we can only go uh, back to the Steel Temple. I wonder why this might be. Could it be to railroad us into a plot event? I don't think so. That's unthinkable. But anyway, as you can see, the gate is closed. And for whatever reason, we can't go down to those bird statues. Anyway, let's head back to the Seal Temple and see if we can deduce what the hell is going on. Because this is not conducive to the overall progress that we desire. Granny, give me the scoop. Yeah, that's some placeholder text there, um, that actually doesn't make a whole lot of sense in context. Because you'd think she would mention either the whole uh, Pharaon Woods being completely blocked off, or she might mention this. Imprisoned is breaking out again. Hey, guess what? We get to do the imprisoned fight again already. Isn't that great? Yeah, this is a thing. Yeah, Groose, I get it. I can I can go get it. Don't worry, we've done this many times before. So yeah, here's the thing. Since you can go to the provinces in any order, uh, it's entirely possible, and indeed, in this case, it happened, uh, that you will fight the imprisoned, go rescue Levias, and then come back here immediately and fight the imprisoned again. Or, hypothetically, you could go to the two other provinces first, and then come here, and you actually have some space in between the fights. Um, it's not reliable, and as such, the variable pacing of the boss fights kind of makes it a bad design decision to put it at the beginning of this part right here. This plot event should probably be independent of the, the song hunt, uh, rather than a, a vital part of it. I mean, it's not even related to the song hunt. It, it's just the, the plot event is tied to your beginning the song hunt. Anyway, uh, first hit on him is exactly as it was before. You get up to a level above him, stun him with the Grusinator, jump on his head, and slam his uh, s spike back into his forehead. Really, it, it's nothing new. I guess it's just to make sure that you remember what you're doing. I guess. Hmm. Yeah, e easy going, pretty quick, no problem there. Here's where things get almost mildly interesting. He has an evil halo thing. Heck if I know, but it lets him fly. This this makes sense. Bruce, that, that bomb is upside down, you might want to fix that. Anyway, uh, you don't actually want to... Uh, chase him up there because hitting him with the Grusinator will cause this halo to disappear and force him to tumble all the way back down to the bottom of the pit. So the closer you are to the bottom, uh, the more time you'll have to get up to him. Or get down to him, rather. Yes, thank you, Grus, our lord and savior. Anyway, this hit is almost interesting because, oh my goodness, his forehead is pointing down now. What are we going to do? 
we have to slash upwards to put the spike in. Oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. And once more with feeling. But watch this. His bombs are blocked off. If only he could, I don't know, go around that rubble or climb over it or something. I don't know. But anyway, now we gotta get up to the top and assist him. And unfortunately, since the imprisoned is right in the middle of the pit there, he's blocking off the vent that would normally allow you to uh, get blown all the way up. So you gotta take the somewhat slow route. And stamina can be kind of a thing, but oh well. You have enough time. You might feel a little tense, but you have enough time. You might notice the music got a little more dire uh, once you got close to the temple. It's a nice, uh, nice little design choice, although very rarely will you actually hear it. Anyway, now we need to be launched out of the Grusinator. It's a very good idea to get at least a somewhat backward angle, uh, so that you have more leniency. You don't want to go flying over his head and to the other side. Um, but overall, as long as you're patient and uh, precise, things will be pretty simple here. Probably the easiest of the imprisoned fights, honestly. And uh, I suppose you can be happy. This is the last time we have to go through all that schlep and, and shebang and all that. Basically, just the it's over. Thank goodness. I'm very glad. And I'm sorry that I had, sub had to subject you to it so close in proximity, but you brought it upon yourselves. Anyway, that is taken care of. Just got to go all the way back to the bottom. And then do the whole ceiling thing again. So we're already at the bottom because we fell off. Isn't that convenient? And now the most complex seal yet. You may have noticed that they increased in triangles uh, as the seals got more and more desperate. Again, a neat touch, but... Eh. It'd be best if we didn't have to go through this whole thing three times. I mean, it's not a bad idea for a fight. And the idea of having a consistent villain that reappears and that you don't have the power to completely stop, only seal? That's an idea that can be done fairly well, but to do that, you kind of need to have the villain be somewhat threatening. Not the case here. Anyway, that takes care of the imprisoned for the last time. Thank fucking god. Now all we gotta do is head back to the sealed temple and ask Granny what the heck's going on uh, with the Pharaon Woods. Why can't we access them? And then we go. <sighs> so yeah, here's the thing, she's like asking us these questions, uh, whereas our previous conversation with her before we went and stopped the imprisoned was as if she already knew all that, or just abbreviated this conversation. So it's a little weird. Weird, weird placeholder kind of thing, I don't know. Anyway, the Faron Woods have been flooded with water. It's unfortunate. Um, but if you've been paying attention or think a little bit, you can probably assume whose doing it was. Of course, I won't spoil it, because that's for the next episode. 
But yeah, in order to get in, we will need to hitch a ride with Groose. Because Groose is, is cool like that. And I somewhat apologize for having this uh, episode rather short and just a, a boss fight that we've done several times before. But next episode will be significantly longer and hopefully more interesting. Um, and I don't want a 40-minute update. That would be kind of a schlep. And I kind of want to quarantine this boss fight in case you want to just skip over it. Which you know because I told you that after we already watched the fight. Anyway... Just to have something interesting, here's bird catching. Yep, gotta sneak up on him and catch him. It's easier said than done, especially those blue birds. They give you very special rare feathers, and they are a butt to catch. Alright. This is gonna be so stylish. Alrighty, I'll see you guys next time.